Good morning, guys. It's currently Tuesday, and I have a pretty busy schedule with my content making and just like house stuff. So I figured I'd take you guys along with what my day to day looks like usually. Um, as you know, I got furloughed from my like real job and then got eventually laid off from like COVID. So I have been doing Instagram full time. Um, and I have to thank Jacques because he is the one that is making it possible and letting me have this time to like grow my Instagram and everything. Um, and it's been really, really fun. Today I actually have like a few things that I want to film. Well, one, I'm vlogging today. And then two, I have to take some photos for a brand. Um, they sent over a little package with some items that I have to photograph for. And then I have to make my Sephora guide for everyone on my blog. So I have a lot of stuff to film. And then I also have to make lunch and dinner. So it's going to be a packed day. But I just got out of bed and um, I'm going to make the bed now. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> These um, clips from J. Crew, and I bought two. Why? <laughs> what the heck? Why is it sticking out like this? These clips from J. Crew are the best, and I don't know why my hair is sticking out like this. <laughs> so I was just gonna start making the matzo ball soup for lunch today, but I realized it's only 8 30, so I think I'm going to work out first and then make the soup. And then while the soup is cooking, I will shower and get ready and get dressed for all of the content things today which suit should i wear today i just wore the blue one i think i will do let's do shorts today let's do these shorts with the white sports bra i really need to reorganize my closet i feel like it's like got so messy when i first set it up it was so nice and neat and then it just slowly 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 gets really messy okay just changed into my workout outfit and i'm gonna do a little melissa wood health my hair is still sticking out i don't know why um i have been doing melissa wood health like pretty much every day of the week sometimes i skip like one day and i only do four days a week but it's pretty good and I feel like my abs are like coming alive a little bit, just a little. I feel like I only have like abs like in the first, <laughs> the top part and not the bottom. The bottom is like the more like hard, difficult area for me. Also, my tan, I've been using the C. Von Ayla tanning number, number 32 tan Lux or wait, Lux unfiltered. And it's so good. I've been putting it on like every two to three days and I feel like the color is just really, really natural and you don't look orange at all, which is really, really nice. I just finished my workout and it was an 18 minute um, booty with one pound weights and it was really really good actually I felt like my butt is on fire right now and I think I'm just gonna go to my computer right now and kind of like time block all the things that I need to do because um, I used to not do that but I saw one of my favorite bloggers on Instagram um, from Arizona her name is Sakura and she time blocked her schedule and she said it was like a huge difference so I started kind of doing that but I feel like today is like the first like day that I actually have a lot of things where I just remembered that I should time block usually I just kind of like 
roll with it, write down everything that I need to do, but then I kind of feel frazzled because I have like so much to do. So I'm gonna sit down on my computer on the floor where I just worked out. I haven't cleaned anything up yet. And I'm going to go through my schedule and see everything that I have to do and just time block everything so that I know like what hour is designated for what. So as I said, I'm just literally sitting on the floor of our bedroom and I have my computer here with me and I'm just gonna time block. So the first thing I think I wanna do is cook because it is nine, 10, 11, 12. So cooking will probably take me like an hour and then while it just sits on the stove, I'll probably um, shower and stuff. But first things first, I wanna see if my almond cow got here. Um, almond cow, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I love my almond milk. And I actually just purchased this almond cow machine that basically it's like a nut milk maker really excited for that because i feel like i drink almond milk all the time and when i buy like a huge carton of it i can never finish it within seven to ten days like when they recommend it um for it to stay fresh so this makes like smaller batches and i feel like it'll taste really good but i'm nervous because i feel like i've made i think i've made nut milk once before where i blended it up in the blender and then i strained it with a cheese cloth and it just didn't taste as good i feel like it was like really really watery and it was not really flavorful and creamy so i'm curious to see if this almond cow machine will make like really good creamy almond milk. I think there's like different ways to go about it um, for it to be like the way that you want it to taste. Okay, let's time block my schedule. So this is where I pretty much just keep like my workout stuff so I don't make an excuse to like not work out because everything is here. So I just put my little yoga mat in the corner. I have this aloe bag that I just keep all of my workout stuff in. So I have like my little towel for like any towel series that she does. I have this little squishy ball, weights, bands, all that good stuff. I just keep it in my little corner. And it has this little spot and I just pull it out whenever I work out. So the first thing I always do after I work out is make a large glass of water. I always talk about these collagen pills on my stories. These my mom purchased for me from Costco like a while ago and I just oh shoot, never drank it because I just got so lazy. But now that I have two bottles that were gonna expire in um, I think 2022, I was like, might as well drink it because I've been wanting to take collagen for my hair and my nails. So six pills is a lot to swallow in the morning, but I give it as an excuse that you have to chug a lot of water when you drink this. So like gets your water intake in because I feel like sometimes I forget to drink water during the day. Let's make some matzo ball soup, which just sounds so good and really comforting. And this was Jacques' um, request. I'm making this soup right now and I totally forgot to saute the vegetables before I poured in all the broth. So I'm gonna have to do it separately now. while this boils and cooks for probably like 40 minutes to an hour and then um, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit around the kitchen and then I will get ready Okay, this is just to show you that some things just never go as planned and I feel like this always happens when I have a really busy day and just things don't go as planned. So I, it's what time is it? It's like 12 o'clock and I'm just finishing up cooking. I was like looking at emails and stuff and I haven't even got ready yet. I was planning to get ready <clears throat> before we had lunch so that I would just get that out of the way. but. You know what? It's fine. I did wash my hair and I showered and everything. So now I'm just gonna put on some makeup, um, do my hair while the soup is cooking. And then after lunch, I'm gonna start shooting all the content 
and then sit down and like edit this vlog which has to go live tomorrow if I can make it happen I don't know if that's gonna be able to work out but we'll see so I feel a little frazzled but we're good because we got this let's go put some makeup on this is my makeup situation nowadays and I pretty much figured this out last weekend when I was doing a little makeup Instagram stories. I always keep all of my makeup in this little basket so it's easy to transport wherever I want to do it in the house. And then I have this in a little like vase that I got from H&M Home. This has been my makeup situation. It's natural lighting and then when I'm done I just put everything back in the bathroom. And it's so much better in the bathroom because my bathroom is so dark. Finally got ready <laughs> after all morning. Finally got ready and now I'm gonna go grab um, some speakers. Whenever I, oh, my throat just made a weird noise. Whenever I shoot content, I always have to have music on in the background because I feel like it just makes me hype up. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do that. But first I think I'm gonna go eat a bite of cookie before because this cookie is so good. It's Funfetti. Okay, so I just finished shooting for the um, brand campaign that I had to do and I feel like the lighting wasn't that good, but I feel like I'm able to edit it. I kind of like look through it and edit it the way that I would and then put it on like um, an app that I use called Planoly to make sure that it will look good with my feed when I post it this week. Um, so that's what I just did. This is kind of like how, like the process, how I do it. I really don't plan that far in advance. I'm just so excited for the one day when we have a big ass house so I can just like take a lot of more like cool photos instead of just like doing it behind or in front of the shades. Like I feel like the lighting is like pretty shit quality, but let me show you guys like how I set it up and everything. So unfortunately we don't really have that much like open plain white walls that I could shoot in front of. So what I do is I bring this curtain down as a white backdrop. So then we're able to shoot like right in front of it. But like sometimes it kind of looks really bright like on this side and it affects the photo. Um, I think today just has like darker lighting maybe. Okay, so I just finished shooting the campaign and I feel like the lighting wasn't that good, but I think I was able to edit it so that it looks good. Um, so I'm gonna send it to the brand. Um, I think probably today once I like finish editing everything and like looking at it again, but I just put on some leggings, figured I'd look cute for the vlog and not wear pajamas. And I'm wearing this tank from Aritzia that I got actually a long time ago. I think actually last year, so it's not that bad. And it's kind of chilly in our house. So I'm just gonna wear a sweatshirt, but to make it cute, I wore this like a few weeks ago and a few people asked me where I got it. So I wear it as like sweater sleeves and this is just a plain sweatshirt and you can literally do it with anything. I've seen Kendall Jenner wear it this way and I'm pretty sure that's where I got the inspiration. So what you do is like you put it on like a jacket, just the sleeves like this, like that. And then it becomes like a like sweater sleeve situation and I feel like it's really cute. And then the back is just like that. I kind of like wearing it like this because I feel like it looks pretty cute and really comfy and chic. And this is what it looks like full length. Um, these leggings are from Aerie. They're so, so soft. They're like $32 for a pair. I feel like it's always on sale. Um, but yeah, I wear them all the time at home because they're so comfortable. Guess what arrived? My almond cow. I think it's downstairs. I've been waiting like for a week for this thing. So we're gonna go downstairs and get the almond cow because your girl needs almond milk for her lattes and I'm so excited for them. And I think my order from NAKD, I don't know how you say it, naked, arrived too so I can do like a little haul. Get the packages. Here the goods, so heavy. I got two things. Got one from Almond Cow, which is my nut milk maker, and I'm so excited for it. 
Um, I've been waiting for like a week for this and it was supposed to come yesterday and I was so excited and then it was delayed so it came today. Bag of almonds. You can buy it in bulk. So it's like cheaper than if you were to buy like almonds at Whole Foods or something. And then I got a bag of oat milk. It comes with like a little scrubber thing. Dun, 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 dun. My almond cow. And it comes with a jug where you have to buy it. So it comes with this little jug thing. So whenever you make your almond milk, you can just put it in here. My nose is itchy. It's cute. It has like a little cow on it. <laughs> and then... This is the almond cow. Let's see how big it is. I'm like kind of scared. Actually not too big. Expected it to be this big. So I guess there's like different ways that you can make it. So I recently um, re-fell in love with, I don't know how you say it, Naked Fashion. It's like N-A-K-D. Um, I think it's a UK brand. And they have really, really cute stuff. It's a little bit more pricey. I feel like it's like a Princess Polly type of thing, but they have really cute stuff and their shipping is ridiculously fast. So let's open it up. I got a, a lot of stuff. I feel like I only wear jeans most of the time and I kind of want to switch it up with like trousers and stuff. So I picked out a bunch of trousers. I don't know if it's going to fit. I don't know if it's going to look cute. I actually purchased a few things from them like a few weeks ago and I really liked it. So I placed another order because I found some new stuff. Okay, I got these black trousers. They look pretty cute. They're just like plain black trousers. I figured this would look cute with like Converse or something. Okay. I got another pair of joggers. I mean, um, trousers. And it looks like I think it's like a dark Oh, it's black, black with stripes on it. I thought it was navy, it's like that. I feel like these would be really cute for spring with like a crop top or something, but I don't have anything like that. I got a lot of pants. I got these ones. Raw denim jeans that actually look really cute. I hope I fit them. I don't have any of these color yet. These pants. I feel like I'm going to have to try all of these on because I don't know how it's going to look. I got this top tank, just like a plain scoop neck tank. And I got this cool long sleeve that like crisscrosses. It kind of reminded me of something that um, Kylie Jenner wore. I feel like I'm going to have to figure out how this, it's like a long sleeve, but then this part kind of, I think it crosses over and you put it over your head like that. And this is like a body suit thing. Body suit, scoop neck. It's like a cute like cut out tank. That's pretty much all I got. I might make a TikTok of the try on haul. And that's all I got. It's a lot of stuff actually. I feel like I always buy a lot more things and then try it on if I don't like it, I can return it. They're pretty easy with the return, so. So I just tried on every single thing that I got from this place, Naked, and I'm just going to call it Naked for now until I figure out how you pronounce their brand, but I hate to say, but I also love it, that keeping everything. Everything was so, so freaking cute. I, you know, like when you buy like way too many things expecting to return like half of it at least, but then you end up keeping it all and you're like happy, but then you're sad because you spent kind of like a lot of money but everything was so cute. So I just filmed like a little TikTok try on haul thing. So I'm gonna try to edit that, but whoa, everything is so cute. Today, I swear, is like a nonstop day. Now I'm gonna make some dinner. We're making spaghetti squash. I got some spaghetti squash and um, yes, I changed into pajama pants because I was getting so bloated and I think my leggings were like a little bit too tight. Um, but I was just gonna make like a plain turkey bolognese, like a turkey like meat sauce with rayos. But I remember I have leftover um, carrots and celery and also cherry tomatoes. So I figured I'd make like an actual like bolognese, but I don't have like pancetta or anything. I think I actually bought ground chicken instead of ground turkey. So I'm making like a ground chicken like 
makeshift bolognese with rayo sauce. Um, now, I'm just gonna chop up some uh, garlic. Actually, I might just leave it whole. And there's a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna do like four cloves, five cloves. And I'm just gonna leave them whole because I followed Pia Baroncini's recipe. I love her and her husband, they're so cute. And he's like a super Italian, like, man and I, it's, it's just so cute. And she's pregnant right now, but I love following them. I feel like they're like so authentic and real. Okay, so I am just cutting up this and I love the feeling when like you're trying to cook something and then you have all these ingredients that you feel like you should use and then you finally figured out how to use it. I feel like it's like the most rewarding feeling ever is just being able to use up all of your ingredients that you have left over. Scent of like sauteed onions and garlic will just forever remind me of my mom because I feel like she always cooked at home for us and every time she would fry up some onions and garlic she would be making like a really delicious stir fry and the moment it's done my sister and I would run over with a fork and eat directly from the pan because it was just so so good. So I'm just sauteing the onion and garlic and then I'm going to add in the rest of the sofrito as she would call it. not a traditional bolognese I would totally make a bolognese one day like a real one but I want it to be like somewhat healthy and I was just gonna make like a plain meat sauce version but then I had all of this um, vegetable leftover so I figured I'd just turn it into like a chicken bolognese I don't know if that's even a thing but we'll see I have the spaghetti squash I just poked some holes in it with a knife and I microwaved it for like five minutes so that's easy to cut and I cut like the top of it off because it's always so hard to cut through this little thing so I just chopped it off the top and then I just cut it in half with a knife really carefully and now I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I'm gonna put some olive oil all over it and then add some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder I always like to do. And then you just flip them over and you basically let it like steam in the oven like this for 30 to 40 minutes until it's all like nice and soft. So I think I might have overcooked the spaghetti squash a little bit. It should have been like more like stringy. I think mine is a little overcooked so it's like a little mushy but I think we're gonna try to eat it anyways. This is my little setup for the rest of the night. I'm gonna try to finish this vlog that I'm actually filming for right now. And I moved to the little dining area because the sunset is so pretty and the weather is just so nice. I have the door cracked a little bit, so there's like a nice breeze. And this is where I'll be ending the night. Good night. And that is the end of my vlog. Vlog six. I can't believe I've actually like kept up with this and like and vlogging this much, but it's so much fun. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I feel like it was a fun way to let you guys into my life and see what I do day to day. I feel like today was like an extremely busy day and it's not always like this, but I do love being super, super busy. So it was fun to take you guys along and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this, give it a like, subscribe, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, bye guys.